Hello, um, in this tutorial we're going to look at Edity. First of all, we need to get hold of the Chrome software. So in Chrome, I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store and I'm going to look for Edity. Um, and you can see that I've installed the red one, the green one, the blue one, and the yellow one. And the red one is Edity Workspace, and we, we need that to preview what work we make. The HTML editor, the CSS editor, and graduating onto the JavaScript editor. There are some other really cool tools, but let's start with these four. Once you've uh, added them, they should appear in your Chrome applications. Inside school, they should be already installed. Now we're ready to start work. We're going to first create a folder. To put our Edity work in and we're going to make sure that this folder is no longer private. We're going to change its access and make sure it's public on the web. You can see you've got the little silhouette icon there and that's where we're going to create our HTML document. So let's start off with a HTML document. I'm gonna rename it so that it's called index.html and I'm gonna quickly put in some basic HTML. going to put in a link to a style sheet which doesn't yet exist and you'll notice as I type it has uh, some handy tip tools like uh, adding the second half of uh, the, s the speech mark I'm naming the style sheet stylesheet.css which doesn't yet exist oops and now when I create the body tag it's automatically going to create a, a closing tag hello world and now I'm gonna close that and there it is inside my editing example folder and now I'm gonna create my CSS page and I'm going to make sure that I rename this page so that it matches the title I gave the link in the HTML page. And in here, in my style sheet, I'm going to add a new style. going to set a color for the background and I'm going to choose a, a pale blue Oops. I'm going to apply that to the body tag indents are bad there. sorry there we go so I now have a style sheet .css and an index.html and I'm ready to open with Edity, the red one. I'm going to create a workspace. It's going to ask me to give it a name. And I'll just add example and there's a slight difference between other workspaces I might make. The workspace says what would I like to include. I'll specify these two style sheets. Select. The workspace opens and you can see I have my HTML and my style sheet and then the preview. So in here, if I change that so it's very red and I update this, 
you can see my changes are affected and again in here I make changes to the HTML refresh the preview window Oops. refresh the preview window and presto it's changed hmm. why is the red gone I don't know Sorry, just had to give that little shove. And as you can see, you can also build up um, a JavaScript page and glue that in as well. Follow the other tutorials to find out more.